Hello everybody, welcome to my round of 32 match against Kadernik. Um He is a dirty dingo because he's at home, he's got the Wizard Stadium. Um, if he didn't have a Wizard, I'd feel almost confident about this matchup. Um, he's got two guards, he's got no mighty blow, and he's got three edge five and a move nine. But his team isn't that good without a Wizard, I don't think. Unfortunately, the Wizard, you know, absolutely makes him a huge favourite. Also, I don't have a proper ball carrier because I uh, sacked my ball carrier to get more inducements and stuff and to, you know, to be a leaner TV team in the regular season. I probably should have thought that I would make playoffs. I should have believed I would have made playoffs rather than optimising my team for the regular season. And then obviously uh, having a, a shitty ball carrier would have been better than only having a sure hands goal. But there you go. I didn't do that. I, uh, but then, you know, if I'd done that, maybe I wouldn't have qualified for the playoffs at all. So there you go. That's the kind of thing you've got to do, isn't it? Um, Right, Skuro is here. Hello, Skuro. Thank you for doing the commentary. Uh, no problem at all. Hello, everyone. And uh, I, I will now, I will now turn my mic off and not look at chat or anything, and try hard and, and try to actually think. And Skuro will uh, entertain you. He is the reigning, the reigning, defending, undisputed SFW. Is it SFW? S -F -W. SFL, oh. SFL oh, champion. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, go. FFL, the obscure league that no one but like Shawnee and J5 knows about. That I am the champion of that league. He is uh, the champion. I will do my best to be uh, impartial uh, to both Gade and Nicky and Jimmy Fantastic, and uh, hopefully give you guys a little bit something to listen to other than Blood Bowl sounds. <laughs> Glorious, thank you. All right, so just waiting for that game to launch, and I will be in. Looks like should be momentarily. <laughs> Hello, well, Shawnee, I still have a shot at the playoffs. I just got to win one out of my next two games to make it, and that's uh, that was the dream story. But this uh, the, the next four hours of Blood Bowl is not about me. It is about Jimmy Fantastic and G'day Nick in the Rebel playoffs. So let's see how uh, how long this uh, this this thing goes, and uh, you know, hopefully, both coaches will play to their absolute best, and the dice won't be a factor. All right, looks like Jimmy is loading up, so we should be going just momentarily. I've just realized it's Rebel, so you could definitely just watch the stream and commentate with about a minute delay, and it'd be. I'm <laughs> <laughs> literally zero impact. Uh, what, what fun is that? Just kind of searching for this game. Hasn't come up yet in Ball Vision, but uh, Jimmy looks like, uh, or it looks like somebody won the toss, and uh, I believe we've got some very sunny weather. And Jim is going to be on defense to start. That's uh, probably where he wants to be against. What else? And uh, Calcium has just pinged me to jump in on co-commentary. I'm fine with it, assuming Jimmy is, and I, I assume he is. So uh, I would welcome uh, welcome it as long as you can talk friendly about Rebel, which I assume you can because I think you play in it. And dominate it so. We might be getting ourselves a Calcium Kaz. I don't know how to make that happen, but you might already be a commentator, so. Yeah, it looks like you are. Yeah, just hop in, I guess. All right, Calcium will be joining us in the booth in about two minutes. Just not showing up for me. Oh, it's all one word for Jimmy Fantastic. That's why I couldn't find it. How wonderful. There we go. The ball pinchers and Team Fantastic. Let's go. 
Uh, I hate to swim. My name is Skirabetso, and I am commentating, and I think Kelsey and Cass are going to join us in a minute. All right, so Gnanek now setting up on offense. I haven't seen Gnanek play uh, Wood Elves in Rebel before. Don't know exactly how hard he pushes, but, you know, uh, to score quick with this team. Find out pretty quickly. Uh, really, this is just a game of whether Jim's... Uh, <laughs> Jim's mighty blow uh, can, do, can do the job, or if uh, the four players of quality on Gdanik's team can outperform uh, an entire team of chaos. It sounds like Mr. Calcium Cats has joined us in the booth. Uh, Sir, how yeah. are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good, Square. How you doing, mate? All right. I'm so you sure, got any in? I'm sure. In, I'm, in? Right. Basically, um, this is. I, yeah, with a wizard. Do you know what? Wizards are just. It's cheating, isn't it? With blood, uh, with wood elf teams, it's it's cheating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean the advantage is obviously there. That's the one thing about that magician shop, though. Jim does have one to kind of cover his ass as well, but you'd feel a lot better if no one had a wizard. If you were, uh, yeah, Jim, yeah. I, think. I find I find playing a counter wizard. It's a bit like um, uh, the USA Soviet Cold War. You don't want to be the first one to fire off your wizard, <laughs> you know. Yeah, um, right. you, you need you need to really keep hold of that wizard, don't you? As as um as a sort of mutually assured destruction deterrent, really, you know. But um, uh, elves have one play, don't they, with a wizard? It's it's yep. basically score early, and then wizard rush, get two nil up, game over. I honestly. Don't you know? I'm not knocking anyone that chooses to play that way, but I just, oh, it's just horrible. <laughs> I hate it so much. But that being said, good day, Nick is a nice guy, you know. Um, and I'm, you know, I've got to be impartial here, you know, as a, as a as a balanced, rational, non sociopathic commentator. <laughs> oh, well, funny story is I, I je definitely more prefer the elf style of play in Blood Bowl myself. So uh, we'll have a nice duality here. Uh, definitely. I do, I generally don't like playing kill teams as, as much because uh, I find that I find myself relying on removals that I don't get, uh, and then I'm just sad all the time. But uh, yeah, it looks like yeah. both coaches both coaches got the reroll on the kickoff, and it instantly saves Gdanek, Uh Has to spend it on an early dub skulls on the line that just kind of went by the wayside. But he does get the whole LOS down. Yeah, I'm, I'm up now, so I, I'm actually, I was watching the game on Twitch, but I'm now, I've got it loaded up on my PC in real time now, so uh, All right. that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, stan standard defensive setup from Jim. A um, little bit surprised Gdanik hasn't pushed in turn one. Normally, Wood Elves tend to push up a sideline, don't they? You know, um, to get the early two-turn score. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's one way of playing them. I, Gdanik... Gdanik is not as uh, reckless, I think, generally speaking, with his with his agility teams. Again, I've seen him play Skaven a lot more than I've ever seen him play Wood Elves. Uh, but he might be looking at Jim's team and thinking, you know, score, you know, score, score halfway or later when it's safe to score without having to risk any uh, any 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 extra dice mm. rolling, uh, and then put the onus on him to have to three turn or four turn or whatever, and probably three turn. Um, yeah, yeah. rather than just give him two and then let Jim pummel him on the LOS one extra time. Jim so is pushing a little harder than you normally see from him, too. I, yeah, I quite like, with, with a Wood Elf team, especially a Wood Elf team that um, is deciding not to push straight away, I like to get in their face, make them roll dice. Um, you know, because they can't roll two pluses forever. <laughs> you can you can tell I've got nothing but love for elf ball and wood elf teams in general, can't you? But um, I, 
Do you know what? The, I, I felt my heart breaking a little bit. That first hit that Jimmy did, which didn't result in a removal. As a bash coach, whenever you play Wood Elves and you do not break armor, a little bit of you dies inside. <laughs> not only didn't break, he snaked it. Uh, which would, yeah. Uh, which would yeah. at least kill Artemis. <laughs> it's, it's demoralizing. And if that happens by turn four, turn five, if Jimmy hasn't got the kind of removals, the kind of attrition that he would expect, it just it tilts you off the planet. Um, you know, and th this is the thing with elves, isn't it? When when their plan A doesn't work so well, they they've got options. You know, they they can stand and trade a little bit. Um, with bash teams, especially chaos, when their plan A doesn't work, it's it's horrendous. <laughs> but if you choose to play them, you've got to accept it, innit? Yep. It's going to be interesting to see. Uh, I think we're going to see uh, a fair few uh, strength four tentacles rolls made. Probably just about every turn. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how that goes out. You know, strength <clears throat> strength four tents aren't going to be you know a game breaker like they are on uh, you know like a beast of Nurgle or something with strength five. But yeah, still you know you low roll once and then you lose your catcher there, your edge uh, five uh, bleh, edge five catcher there. Yeah, um, I, I love brainless chaos beastman. Um, you know, <laughs> with with, with the um, tentacles claw mighty tackle um it, it's a great player a very unconventional skill to give tentacles on strength four because you're absolutely right it's not great is it it's not strength five tentacles i think in this game though it could be a difference maker you know so uh we, we will wait and see won't we <laughs> and it, play, it plays right into what you were saying you know make the make the elves have to roll all the dice even if all those yeah. dice have to be two plus <laughs> You know, just adding in that tense roll at some point, you know, at some point the dice always turn on you. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Jim doesn't have to roll many dice on defense. You know, he's probably going to get, you know, one or two blocks a turn at best. Um, and so it's really going to be on Gnanek to, uh, to, to throw a couple of blocks here. He's maximizing his guard as best he can to get those blocks. And there you go. Gets a pow. Gets a pow on the guy. God. In Guard on Wood Elves is horrendous, isn't it? Guard, mm -hmm. it, it, it gives Wood Elves just extra options. Um, Absolutely. So, He's got two of them, I think. I saw, yeah, the yeah. catcher down below, but that, that, yeah, catcher's isolated on the right side there. Yeah. I don't know a lot about Good Day, Nick. I, I understand, you know, I know he's a solid player. Um, but I, I, you know, and I, I know he's a nice guy because obviously I see him in, in Jimmy's chat and elsewhere. Um, but I don't know a lot about him besides that. So is he, is he sort of a superb elf baller stroke Skaven player? Um, like I said, my, my experiences, you know, he plays in the F SFL, uh, which is the league we both played. Yeah. Uh, yeah. and I played him, uh, several times there. I uh, just had some, he, he had a really nice Skaven team a few years ago that I, that I fell to in the playoffs. Uh, and then he has been pushing more in CCL recently than I've seen in the past. I think he's qualified this season and possibly the last couple. Um, you know, he's an Australian coach and he does stream from time to time in like the middle of the night for most people. Uh, yeah. But he doesn't generally, I've never seen him rack up enough games to really uh, <clears throat> qualify regularly and be, be a better known name. But he's a, yeah, he's a, you know, he's a top tier coach in my opinion. Yeah, uh, I think anyone that qualifies for the CCL on the PC um, has to be a good coach because it is a no mercy division of CCL, isn't it? You know, any any shitter can qualify on the PS4 or the Xbox, but <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, I mean, I would never take away. I mean, I've never qualified. I've never played more than four games in a in a season of it. I think, I think there is something to be said about you know, like there is a time investment to qualify that your average coach could could put in and have a shot at qualifying. Oh, there's a bad three die for Jim. Oh, that's a horrible six oh, just... That will yeah. hurt. That will hurt. But he does get the tents back in. Uh, and now that guard is going to be a little bit harder to, uh, to fully utilize. Yeah. yeah. And he can't really dodge out anymore with that, with that, uh, that uh, wrestle, wrestle piece there. Do you think he's going to look for the foul here? I'm, I'm just looking at the foul targets. Uh, the, the the stunned catcher, the Agi Five stunned catcher, is a great foul target. But I would be shocked if Jim fouls. He doesn't have a bench. He doesn't generally like fouling, but he does have that dirty player. This so he's got to do something, I guess. Um, doesn't look like he's uh, setting up to do that though. He's not one to 
He's not one to ever really. Help, he's he's well not now. me, is he? He's, he's better. better. He's a lot better than me. <laughs> okay, there we go. That'll make him feel a bit better. There you go, yeah, gets his first removal. And yeah, both, again, it needs to be said, both players without a bench here. Um, so, you know, you got one app of each, you know, Jimmy, you know, that plays into Jimmy's hands a lot more than Gdanik's. But again, Gdanik is what else? So you only need a couple of them on the field to really close out and win a game. Despite the really bad 6D that Jimmy just had there, that's a good turn because he's removed one player. So Gdanik is essentially three players down this turn, you know, um, with the two stuns. Um, two players are locked up. So I, I consider that a pretty good turn. Jimmy's kept his shape in the middle of the pitch. Um, so yeah, good turn, I think. Yeah, I mean, he's he's effectively removed three Wood yeah. Elves, or four Wood Elves, because one of them's stunned. Mm. From uh, from this from this turn of offense, Gdanik's not really going to be able to go anywhere right now, and Jim's just going to have his way with those players, I think. Yeah, and I, yeah, I, I entirely agree with that statement, Sean. So now Gdanik is thinking, okay, I just got to score and reset yeah, myself yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because he's not getting those players back. He might not even, he's probably not going to even stand up those two loners. I do question Gdanik's um, positioning insofar as he did decide. Uh, the, the problem with giving guard to any elf is you've got to engage them in combat, haven't you? <laughs> Look at this. That is a big role there, but then he yeah. snaked the. Oh, that's unfortunate. Gets out of the tentacles and then snakes on the easy dodge. That's uh, that's gonna that's gonna be rough. These he's losing basically all of those players right now to just yeah just yeah. Jimmy's got an it. easy Jimmy's got an easy three D on the um the escaped catcher. Yep. It's gonna you know it's gonna you know be he's got murder on his mind here. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be pretty tough for getting get next to score here. I think. Yeah. But yeah, That's, what I was I mean, saying was... Oh, sorry, go on. No, 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 no go for it. Uh, I was, what I was saying was um, Gdanik, you know, he's got three players bunched right up in the centre of the pitch, which Jimmy can easily lock down. So I, I get that when you've got a guard elf, you know, you, you've got to engage them. Um, but I don't think I loved the way Gdanik really sort of crowd, you know, penned himself in. Yeah, I mean, I think he, I think he did kind of look at his... Well, it's not really a guard advantage... But he looked at having that guard and being able to uh, maybe being able to punch Jim in the nose. I mean, again, you, you, you get a lucky removal on a Kill Chaos team that's scrolling poorly, oh, it's, and the it's game the is worst. a completely different game. Yeah, <laughs> It's the worst, uh, honestly. It makes so, you feel sick. It's... Yeah. But it's possible after that LOS where he put, he put everyone down but didn't uh, – didn't get anything. That was probably the time to disengage and uh, yeah. maybe yeah. screen out a little bit more. And there he is. He, he's got the catcher down. And that. Oh, oh pile just on. the stun. Pile on all day here. Put the pile on. Oh, yeah. This is as free a pile on as you get. And gets the KO. Jim, yeah. Jim will have wanted a cast there, but, uh, you know, any, anything helps. I, there's no babe in play. And the other thing working against uh, working against Gdanik a little bit is it is very sunny, so getting the ball yeah. upfield with a with you know with a midfield pass, you know, that's that's one one more thing to you know hinder you. He's in a bit of trouble here, isn't he? He's in a bit of trouble. Oh, and Jimmy Jimmy is actually one of the best defensive Blood Bowl players on the planet. I, I swear down. Um, I've watched Jimmy a lot since, what, 2008, 2009, when we started interacting on Fumble. Um, and he's such a good defensive coach. You know, I consider myself a reasonably good defensive coach, but Jimmy is another level. Um, I, wouldn't, and... I wouldn't argue against that, that statement too much either. I mean, obviously, I have a, a little bit less of a less experience of online Blood Bowl, but I've, you know, watching, watching a lot of people stream this game for several years now. You know, things don't always work out for Jim, but he... Uh, well, whenever he, he plays he safe, yeah, you he know, his defense is shit. 
or, or, or space cadet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or Norse in general. You know, it's like auto loss for Jim. <laughs> well, if you were good day, Nick, what would you be thinking right now? Because the only thing I've got is sideline page, and I know that just gets completely locked down by all those <sighs> video chaos. But in doing I, that, yeah. he then frees up those three in the middle. He's going to have to start making some rolls to get some some elves free somewhere in the second half of the or in the in the midfield or in Jimmy's side of the pitch because yeah. uh, otherwise he's just going to be holding on and and just hoping his wizard can get him the turnover next uh, next half. Right. What, I wouldn't, like have, what I wouldn't have done. Thinking. What I wouldn't have done is the defensive. What he's doing is he's just going to sit on his own end zone. Um, I hate that. Um, playing like that actually cost me a CCL final, <laughs> so I hate it. <laughs> but it's um, tough, though, because like, where else is he supposed to go right now? Well, so I would have probably pushed. At... No, go yeah. ahead. Sorry, I would have pushed um, the the uh, brainless chaos, the strength four tentacles beastman. I'd have probably pushed and two deed him, and then gone over to. Um, gone over to sort of I'm, I'm watching from behind the wood elf drive so yeah um so gone over to the right switched over i would have stood up the two loners to absorb hits from those beastmen in the center of the pitch and got as far away from flat fart as humanly possible um <laughs> but you know uh, what he's doing here isn't bad um you know i'm not suggesting that my strategy would be the best but yeah i'm i'm not a massive fan of sitting on your own end zone as i say it, it you know when, when i looked back at my ccl final on the ps4 it cost me dearly a very oh, bold God. but very uh correct based on results uh blitz there the two red die wow. and he gets he gets his block lineman free and that's what he needed you know and we saw the tentacles <laughs> already spoil one one dodge away uh down on that on that edge five catcher but now he's got to make another one to get this owner free. And then I wonder if he tries the uh, the three plus two plus double tentacle roll to get the other the other loner just free at all. He stands him up at minimum. Yeah, no, I think I don't think I'd have dodged him. I don't think I'd have dodged him. I think I'd have um, made Jimmy block there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess neither of those guys have mighty gloves, so, you know, any, any hit is scary right now, but it's a loner, you know, what are you, what are you really going to do? The odds are in your favor, I guess, if you don't make those rolls. Yeah. So Jimmy's still in pretty good shape here, isn't he? He can, you know... Uh, unfortunately, Gaday Nick is under real. He's the one under pressure here. So as long as Jimmy doesn't have an absolute brain fart, which he he, he tends not to, to be honest, he doesn't tilt a lot. Yeah. One thing I will say about Gaday Nick, though, is on that on that reversal there, where he stayed on his sideline again. He's he's added, you know, he's added an X. Well, now he's lost. <laughs> Loses Ooh. that add five catcher. Um, that's all, I mean, that's what we were talking about with Tentacles earlier. Yeah, yeah, huge. Um, Auto Apo, yeah, definitely, yeah, yep, and the Apo did work on him, um, but yeah, so now he's got this, uh, you know, he's got this loner free, and you know that, you know, that adds, you know, thirty three percent or whatever to the people guarding the ball, so yeah, reroll gone, but he gets the elf down. Now he's got an outlet for that loner. It's easier to get him out unless he's Jim going to close that off. Doesn't look oh, like the oh, end. Do you know what? Jimmy can't roll a decent 3D for shit. Can he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, he is he is hurt derping. That means the game is over and Gedanik is lost because <laughs> the ball is made. He he he's uh just he's just leaving that loner alone there. He's putting full pressure on the elves. Uh, this is yeah. the turn where basically a one just loses Gadanik the game or a double. I guess a snake. Will uh, Gaday will Gadanik fall for the bait and uh, be tempted to pass the ball to that loner? Although um, I don't hate that hand part is right there. <laughs> yeah, I don't hate um passing to the loner and then handing off to the uh, to Hugh Janus. Um, the the block lino. Uh, you that's know, exactly. 
Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I mean, it's, it's elf rough. bullshit, isn't it? But yeah. But then, like, he can get basically free of everyone except, I think, for Floor Trout there. Yeah. Well, if Jimmy was going to, uh, uh, if Jimmy was going to attrition fireball there, CSAPs, he would have done it a few turns ago when he had half the team <laughs> in this little kill box that they formed their way out of. Oh, dear. God, I hate Wizards so much. I genuinely <laughs> hope in Blood Bowl 3 that they fuck Wizards off, really. <laughs> that being yeah, said, I, I, I think they need to nerf Pylon on as well. You know, they need to do something about Claw Palm. Um, if you remove Wizards, then um, Elves become distinctly less oh, attractive, yeah. don't they? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's the thing. A wizard, again, a Wizard in hand when your opponent doesn't have one is just... I mean, if you play it right and you don't roll a one, and, you know, you're any level of strategic with it, it's pretty much a guaranteed touchdown. Especially yeah, if you're yeah. a Wood Elf player. I mean, if, if, really, if you are a Wood Elf player, it should be. Uh, yeah, but you know, giving, giving, up, giving up the wizard to Jim, though, as well, I mean, again, that is a little bit of insurance in Jim's pocket for if yeah. things go wrong. Yeah. We probably won't see him use it unless he absolutely has to. And there's that snake. And Oh, I'm sorry, that was against Tackle. Here. Oh, all the dice. <laughs> Elves in it, you know. That second, that second one was uh, had dodge uh, on it. It wasn't the scariest uh, corner to cut there. No. He's not really going to be able to protect that ball fully without at least one more tentacles roll. And even then. Well, I, I guess he's going to try and leap with the war dancer. Um, no, you'd go uh, for the tentacle dodge. Still, yeah. and the tentacle you'd... still works on leap. Yeah, but you'd go for the two plus. You'd you go for the oh, building yeah, yeah. ball at this point when yeah. you yeah. I see what you're saying. Oh, just uh, blitzes with one D. Interesting. Gets him though. Oh, and there's the classic war dancer. <laughs> Jim would have been not happy if that had been uh, a removal of some kind. You know, but, you uh, know that's... Jim. Jim's got his unhappy face on right now. The classic one D armor break. Honestly, ah, oh, it hurts so oh. much. Stop oh, it! And another one. Stop it, good day, Nick. And now Jim is going to be in a little bit of trouble here because he's got to he's got to pay attention to Eugenius there. Yeah. Um. But uh, oh, I get it. <laughs> Eugenius. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I actually got it just as you did. It, it was obviously some next <laughs> level humor that we didn't pick yep. up. On. <laughs> yep. Says me Are with a North all, team they're, they're skin all, annihilators, uh, you know. So, uh, <laughs> like, I'm in a position to judge about carry on style double entendres. <laughs> and now that I've actually looked at the team, they all have, uh, yeah, similar, they do, do they? We're yeah. naming teams Johnny Cohen for the whiz. Uh, are you talking about from Jim or from Gedanik here? I missed the, the timing on that. I don't, I don't think I, I don't think we're gonna see a whiz this half personally. I don't. Jim doesn't strike me as the guy who uses his wiz, his wizard for a turnover. Well, um, score well, when Shawnee he's... says wizard, what he would have fireballed those three? I'll have to wait and see. Yeah. Yeah, I think Jim's wizard doesn't come out until Gnanix does. Uh, it's just he's a pretty conservative player, all things considered. Like unless he had a, you know, you know, if his sure hands go was in range of retrieving the ball and scoring, then maybe he'd do it. In my opinion, but yeah. Yeah, I hate it. I, I, I wouldn't have fired the wizard there. Um, I think it. I, I think it, the right option is. I absolutely agree with you, Skuro. Keep the wizard. If you go a wizard down against, oh my god, look. Oh, oh, oh hey. That is gonna. That's. Piss off you a little bit, I think. I mean, how does anyone up? You know exactly what Jim's uh, thinking now. Right, so my opponent can roll 1D powers for fun. <laughs> and and I, I roll a skull and remove myself. Brilliant. So, uh, Gidenik does need to escape tentacles here, but yeah. otherwise he's relatively free to consolidate his entire team in the scoring half uh, of the pitch, uh, which yeah. is a huge win given how things were looking early. Oh, I didn't even see he had Dauntless. Uh, and the wrestles gonna have be have to be good enough and now that word answer is just a just a you know one in 36 away yeah 
See, it is I, a shame. I, I it think Skuro's played all right, isn't he? He's played all right here, but his dice have been brilliant. <laughs> well, I'm commentating and not playing, but I, I, assume, I assume you mean good day, Nick. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, good day, Nick. Sorry. Um, yeah, he's he's played solid enough here. Um, uh, but he's, you know, I'm, yeah, if I was Jimmy, I'd be really, really pissed off. I'd be, but then that's Blood Bowl, isn't it? You know, getting pissed off about, we all, we're all entitled to get pissed off about the dice, but. I mean, the dice, of, dice the, I wouldn't, I wouldn't look at, I wouldn't look at this as saying it's necessarily a dicing, but like things are going the Wood Elves way. And that's what Wood Elves, you know, that's what the team is built to have to play with. Yeah. And yeah. so when, whenever you're kind of, whenever Wood Elves get away from you, when it's looking good it's hard to look at it as being anything other than elf bullshit. And uh, really, uh, really, you know, I think it, what Gdanik did where he kind of hung out down, especially when he cut to the right. And again, I guess it's to the left for everyone else watching it. Um, but when he cut, you know, when he cut back and stayed down near his uh, end zone, that was, a, that was the safest play for him. And it yeah. seems to be paying off now. He stretched Jim all out. And now the ball is going to be away from half of Jim's team that'll probably never get a chance back at it. Ooh, this is bold, Jesus. Though. Oh no, fails. There's your <laughs> Wow. Wow. That was so ballsy. He's going to make Jim have to power Blodger, I think, uh, without tackle. And I don't know. Oh, he punts it too, just to be safe. <laughs> oh, baby. Why? Why punt it? I, I, I don't think Jim Jim had a tackler in range. I I, I don't like that. Um, I don't like that either. I'd much rather have to pow that that yeah, that yeah. board answer than because now all he has to do is clear one of those two goats with a two D and and make a GFI and he can technically he can make a chance to you know he can take a chance to pick it up. Yeah. Um, and then Gedanik's a little stuck because he probably won't have another elf. To make that a 2D blitz for the dancer. Yeah, so. no, it's going to be a 1D in it. But given given Gaday Nick's yeah. one day one D history this half, <laughs> I'd be pretty yeah. confident. <laughs> and I mean, he's got strip. You know, he's got strip ball, so it's it's a pretty safe 1D. But yeah, uh, you know, that block goat picking it up would would you know? Sabs would be a little is just putting um, Sabs is just putting chat wizard protection. Yeah, he has the wizard to fall back on. Um, oh yeah, that's, that's a good point. Really yeah, good. yeah. yeah. Doesn't want to get his best player lightning bolted. I don't know. Again, I, I don't personally think Jim would have bolted there, but you never know. That will be a good question for him. If, he, if that word answer hadn't punted, would he have brought the bolt out? Yeah, see, I, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have even, even if he had the ball in hand, I wouldn't have bolted him there. Um, I wouldn't have either. No, as we said before, you've got to keep hold of that wizard. Um, if this... You know, if if Gdanik is successful in this drive, and let's be honest, it's looking like he may well be because AG5 yep. is cheating. Um, <laughs> AG5 and a wizard, it should honestly, it's just horrendous. Yeah, Gdanik, you know, with a couple good KO rolls, especially if he's able to score and get two shots at it, he could have a full team. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. I mean, you know, there's LOS kits to come, but... Uh, he could have a full team against uh, Jimmy's with 10 players up, oh, and there's a drop. So now we're going to have to see a 1D, I think. Yeah, no one else can even get there to base. So. No. 1D with strip to not save the game, but <laughs> aid the drive for sure. Now the real question is, does he then also have to score at that point, or can he screen him off? Oh, no, I didn't even see that. No, but now that, that was, there's a second, a second, uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't actually see that he was in range there. Uh, now that there's a second goat in range, it's going to be impossible for Gdanik to make the ball safe yeah. enough if he gets it loose here. So he's probably going to score and give Jim two turns. Does he wizard here? He's thinking about it, but he doesn't. He's going to rely on the one D. <sighs> Oh, no. And that was the right call. I mean, that was a three up. That wasn't, that really wasn't that big deal. Oh, that's a little. <laughs> oh my God. That's the, the most, the most word answer play, I think, in history, except it didn't break armor, too. How do you stop, how do you stop Wood Elves? I, mean, I, I just, 
How do you stop them? You, you yeah. remove them. <laughs> yeah, or you lose, don't you? Or it's a cricket score, you know, or you go yeah. down four, five, six, nil. It's just, honestly. All right, Good so Jim God. needs, Jim basically needs, I mean, he's going to try in two turn, but he, he, he would like to see one or two, uh, one or two red crosses on the LOS, I think, for sure here. Yeah. And once again, as a dedicated bash coach, whenever you go into a second half of Blood Bowl and your opposition elf team, or especially Wood Elves, have 10, 11 players, you know you're screwed. You get that feeling yeah. in the pit of your stomach that tells you, yeah, <laughs> you are screwed, mate. <laughs> it's I mean, ultimately, I don't think that scatter mattered all that much more. Damn, he was going to be able to get it either way. But it just... Uh... Insult to injury for at, at minimum. Yeah, it's more the Jim psychological does have to be, damage it does. Yeah, Jim does have to be a little careful here uh, because, you know, again, Gdanik, like, you know, getting a blitz or something like that uh, with a wizard, like he could, you know, I, I, I think we've all at some point had a Wood Elf team do exactly that, give us two turns and then get the blitz and then score on us again. Riot. Riot would be the worst here. Um, <clears throat> you know, giving giving Gdanik an extra turn here would be horrible. Um, but yeah, a blitz would be equally horrible. Just just because just because he could obviously punch a chaos player and armor eight, you know, it isn't that great. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, it would be it would be really interesting to see what would happen if the turn got added. Because Jim, you know that you know ups Jim's chance of scoring greatly. But yeah, suddenly that you know that's as that's as harmless a time to just go full on as Gdanik and try and end the game in the first half. Yeah. Um, uh, Mor Moradam, yeah, I, I, a blitz, a blitz is awful, right? Um, whenever you get a blitz rolled against you, it's horrendous. But it's not game breaking here. Whereas I think a riot <laughs> would just be, oh my god. Um, let's see if I've talked it in. It's tough. No, no. There we go. <laughs> uh, Jim's not going to be super happy about that either, but it looks like he, um, yeah, he was just like all manzing and yeah, which is probably the right call there because it lets him maximize his, his LOS hits for attrition, but also make a push down to try and two turn. It's a tough two turn though. with this team, he's got one plus move. Oh no, I'm sorry. Wait, what? Oh, he's got, I was like, he's got one plus move piece, but he's also a minus. He's got a smash tip, so he's yeah. just moving sick. I don't, so, yeah, I don't, you know, I don't see, um, I don't see how Jimmy does the two turn here. Not. Again. He's got to try. He's got to try it against the wizard. Oh God, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, if he can draw the wizard out, brilliant. Then, then, he's not in horrible shape. If he can't draw the wizard out here, uh, he's in really bad shape. But he's got no re rolls either, so. There's I would say there's basically zero percent chance of Gdanik wizarding if you can't score off the wizard. Yeah, yeah. How many plus Agi players does it free? Oh my <laughs> god, that's no, just... Jim's. Jim's got three strength players on his side. But yeah, I, I agree. I mean, match <clears throat> five <laughs> is another level to strength four. Yeah. It's it's disgusting. This team is disgusting. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> sort of admire it and hate it in equal measure, you know. They're even on the pitch right now. See, I guess to to build a Wood Elf team of this nature, which you would be all too aware of you have to pay the iron price don't you you have to go through the pain of losing players you know um that being said when you when you get to this level with with a wood elf team it's got to be pretty glorious you know you, you can basically do what the fuck you want <laughs> yeah. i don't know how many seasons uh i don't know how many seasons you've been playing this uh this team for or anything i don't really know much about rebel at <laughs> all um but yeah, I mean, you, you know, like clearly with the the tackle, you know, the tackle dancer, basically a rookie dancer there, 
uh, he's either cycled through <laughs> yeah, another super yeah. dancer or this is a pretty young team. I, I'm going to assume uh, the former there because you don't sure. get one near legend and then have a second dancer that's only got tech. Okay, so th this will be going yeah. on, Jim. This will be hurting Jim right now. The fact that Oh, hello, cheeky little dodge there. Yep, and yeah, flap fart failing again on a pile on. Just yeah, stun. that will hurt. The best case scenario for Gdanik there, you know, like he he got only fifty percent KO uh, returns, but you know he gets that one back, he's gonna be up up men at this point unless Jim gets a removal. And that is the last place Jim wants to be for his draft. <laughs> Look at that, sure hands doing a thing. See, he was right in taking sure hands. <laughs> well, I think he cares more about the short hands there for that strip ball than he does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> saving a saving a pickup. Hey. All right, so Jim with two scoring threats, I think. Yep, one, three. two. Oh, no, three, three scoring threats. Yeah. You know Jim's looking at uh, that tentacle strength four right now. Mm -hmm. that's, his, that's his play. Flap fart. Smoking this movement nine catcher. Um, I really, really hope Gadena came watching this. <laughs> They're not allowed, are they? But um, yeah, I think that's his play. It's low odds, but... They're relying on Dauntless to keep to maximize the players you can use to kind of get in the way of these other two score threats. Yeah, yeah, I think um, you, that, that was Jim's play. It was, yeah. yeah, it was sort of a bit obvious, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, Gadena can really shut this down uh, yeah. pretty effectively. Uh, there should be no reason for Jim to have a chain of any kind on these guys um, without some serious GFIing. <laughs> Here's a, here would be a wonderful time for a, uh, a tentacles fail, so he gets a, a nice hit on that. Uh, or that a tackle dodge, or a dodge fail. If he can't get two tackle zones on Spaff mm -hmm. Biscuit, yeah. the DP, then Jim still has a chance. More than likely, Jim's gonna have to have to roll a four plus three plus, I think, to uh, have a chance at scoring. Yeah, of course. Um, I've got to be careful saying this, Mike. My Coxard. <laughs> <laughs> Mine too, but what about uh, Matron? Yeah, um, is is got sidestep, and he so he's just gonna sidestep. He, yeah, I'm so Spaff Biscuit. Uh, Spaff Biscuit to blitz out. Oh, look at that! There we go. Relatively meaningless at that point, but does give him a. Actually, no, that does. You know, that's Spack Biscuit big. blitzes out into yeah. the end zone. Um, if he gets the pow, it's on. Well, I don't even think he needs to do that. I think he can just blitz right down on that loner that's basing the uh, basing floor trap there. Free him oh, up as yeah. long as he can get the ball to him, and then it's a three plus to score. Or, sorry, a three plus to catch then, the ball, three plus yeah. to score, and a GFI. Two GFIs. Yeah, that's what it looks like. That's, yeah. that's what Jim's going for. Yeah, yeah. He gets the power to boot. Oh, this could be big. It's going to be tough to get him that ball, though. The ball's a long way away. He didn't follow up, did he? Oh, it doesn't matter. He can go the other yeah, way. He did. Yeah, he, it wouldn't yeah, matter. Yeah. No, he can go the other way. Yeah, so he's just going to need... Actually, he doesn't even need... One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, he does. He does need to make that dodge. Yeah. All right, so... We're gonna look at. We're gonna see a pass and a handoff here. I assume. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, Mama Bosco. Um, poor old Jim's been rolling three Ds the whole game, and at that point, he hits a triple pow <laughs> into removal. <laughs> that's, that's a shame. Couldn't make the three plus. Couldn't even make the three plus pass there to make it interesting. Unfortunately. 
Uh, so yeah, that's that's a that's a missed opportunity of uh, of really no fault of Jim's either. Um, so he's going to be pretty upset about that. Uh, but neither of those KOs come back. So Jim actually is up players right now. Um, so he can't feel too bad about that. But none of them sitting in the cast box has got to stay. Yeah. So that if, oh yeah, if, I if one of those two yeah. players had come back, it would it would have been horrible. So that's going to give Jim a little bit of hope. It's going to keep him in this game. I think, uh, knowing Jim, I think his heart might have sunk a little bit if yeah, they'd come back. Uh, excellent point by Burner in chat. Uh, yeah, very sunny coming into play. Jim did roll his three, uh, but because of very oh, sunny, no. he needed the four. That, that's what did him in. Love boy. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Can I just say, Skuro, your commentary on WWE is amazing. <laughs> I love it. Honestly. Well, I thank you. Uh, tell, I believe... tell me you're a professional because, seriously, well, it's, it's so good. Team JFW, not WWE. I'd never be associated with a company of uh, such low, low moral standing. Absolutely. Uh, but, <laughs> uh, thank you. I appreciate that. And for those of you who don't know, we'll do a quick plug at halftime here. Uh, Jimmy Fantastic, uh, the expert Blood Bowl streamer, has kind of not moved on from Blood Bowl, but he has certainly taken a big chunk of his time and put it into WWE 2K19, the wrestling game of two years ago, <laughs> uh, where he's running an E-Federation, uh, the JFW. Uh, you should all come check it out if you like wrestling or like making fun of the people in chat as their wrestling avatars wrestle in ai form it's a it's a it's a good time it's amazing it's so much fun and the best thing about it is you don't have to do anything you can just sit back relax and enjoy the show. yeah it's so good it's so good uh oh <laughs> now jim's gonna be really game uh, yeah. he uh he did you know he did set up to cover it a little bit uh, but he's still not gonna enough. Have to <laughs> not enough. <laughs> no, certainly not. But that's just. Uh, I mean, this is this is starting to look like the most bog standard gym playoff game you could imagine. <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah, I'm. You know, it's it's well on record just how much I love being a member of Team Fantastic and how much I love Jim in general, and I genuinely want to see him do exceptionally well at all times you know he's won a major in fumble um he's probably one of the best known blood bowlers on the planet you know um and yeah he gets to this position and he just gets dicked on every, all the time it, it, it sure does seem like every time i mean this is this is not nearly as bad as what happened to him in in the, the last world cup to uh to go out but it, it's got that same feel where it's just like yeah you asked him before, you know, if you asked him before this game what was going to make him lose this game, he would have said, A, the wizard, and then B, no no, no removals uh, whatsoever, yeah. and a blitz. <laughs> uh, it, it's, look, it's looking like it, Burner. Again, you know, he does have a wizard. Again, I, I know that goes in more into Gdanik's hands than his, but uh, he does have a wizard, and that can, that can always change things, you know? I think a lightning bolt here. Um, the on the the short hands. Yeah. Uh, oh, I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it, I, I agree. That would, I mean, if it works, especially, I mean, if it breaks arm of the game, is over. So, fair yeah. enough. It would be a rowdy, Jim, you know, it would be rowdy, wouldn't it? But uh... <laughs> Well, I mean, so the problem that puts you in is that Jim can definitely hit that, that war dancer. Um... And then even – so if you don't break armor on that beast, man, he's still going to be able to get to the ball without too many dice. Yeah. And, yeah, it's – you know, I mean, we'd certainly see the lightning bolt from Gdanik next turn <laughs> if he yeah. – uh, Yeah. Now, now, probably, now, we've, probably, now we've sort of broken it down. Now you've broken it down. Yeah, yeah. it's not such a great idea. But it, it, it certainly was an option. Oh, look at this. Even the scout. He loses another, he loses another square. <laughs> These, all those little – you know, again, like I, I wouldn't look at this as a true on dicing just yet, but it's got it feels like one. And uh, all those little, little things that you need to go your way that you don't even pay attention to normally, just not going Jim's way right now. The scales of Blood Bowl justice are starting to tilt 
in Gudenik's <laughs> favour right now, oh, you know? Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, it, the old spaffometer is starting to read dicing. <laughs> doesn't even get the knockdown with flat part. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be giving up on this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that ward answer, though, that's a bad place for the ward answer to be. I mean, he's gonna leap out, but. I don't know how he can protect the ball at this point. Can't, Kenny. He? he can't. Um, I. Is he going to go for? Oh, he can. I mean, he can rely on tentacles in now. So, like again, I would. I know Jim won't do this, but you talk about end of turn lightning bolts. I would strongly Bolt consider. Five. Bolt. Yeah. Yep. Uh, if he gets that pickup, make the. You know, make that. Make that. Uh, that catcher have to. You know do anything to get the ball off of you because if you can survive next turn you can go down and equalize it's just it's going to be really really hard next turn yeah especially if you want to nines the pickup but let's i think not right. talk about I think... that just yet <laughs> yeah <laughs> awkward <laughs> i think you're absolutely right i think um i think the wizard i'll be surprised if the wizard doesn't come out this turn yeah, i meant the word answer fan fox but yeah good 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 point <laughs> I oh, take yeah, that yeah, the Agi right? 5 war dancer, yeah, obviously. Sorry, guys. Um, we, we should have so much Agi 5 on this pitch. We should have been more accurate than that, shouldn't we? <laughs> more specific. Jim does have one more free player. Uh, it's Chaos Warrior. Where's he going to put him? That might tell us what he's thinking. Uh, yeah, I don't think he's going to bolt that guy. It's still just a 2 plus against tackle away. Oh, that's no good. He does have to re-roll it. Does that guy have guard? It does have guard. So he does have guard there. But, I mean, with edge 5 at this point, why wouldn't you just bolt, yeah. you know, if you're today, yeah. Nick? <clears throat> yeah, with edge 5, it doesn't really matter. Oh, yeah. Jimmy was trying to lock down that edge <laughs> yeah, 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it doesn't really matter where this ball scatters to, does it? Off a bolt with edge 5. No, not at all. Now the question is, I mean, well, I guess it does a little bit. If it scatters over to, um, I guess we should swap, I should swap these here. If it scatters over to uh, 53rd best coach and Rebels left, that might mean that, uh, uh, it probably doesn't matter that much, but it might mean that uh, Erection, the catcher, is the one to try and retrieve it, in which case... Uh, tentacles comes into play. Yeah. Uh, Kaigon Jin, uh, I, I'm not aware of any additional news about Blood Bowl 3. Obviously, last year, um, Big Ben put this big announcement up, didn't they? And then they sort of quietly and quickly took it down again. <laughs> I, think, I think there is absolutely no point worrying about Blood Bowl 3 until Games Workshop does something with the tabletop game. Yeah. Uh, you're just not going to get any information about it. Uh, and then even after that, who knows? You know, it's not like it's a triple A game or anything, so there's no guarantee there will be one. But it seems it seems likely enough that they will you know, they they've been oh, and there's that tentacles will. Doesn't go for the wizard though. He's gonna try and do this. I think he's just gonna try and do this with strip. Oh yeah. Yeah. That could backfire, score, couldn't it? Yeah, it could backfire on it. Well him. if he can't score this turn, Jim does have his wizard and he has a lot of players there to cage up with. Yeah, yeah. Um so yeah, it is a risk, but I mean, I mean, again, it could be a game-winning risk. It's Gdanik, already a favorite, but a, a massive favorite if he has a wizard and Jim doesn't. Oh, he does have sure hands. Good call. Yeah, good call. Yeah. Yeah, so he's and just, also yeah. no block. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, true. I guess that offsets it. Yeah. Um, Cocky, you could be right. The, you know, this could be Gdanik's moment to fail something it <laughs> doesn't look like it mine but yeah, it looks like today Nick's just kind of setting up to like at minimum make jim's life a bit stressful next turn uh, you know if he can one d the ball away then i mean he's he's laughing but here it comes Oh, I'm sorry there's a 2d yep uh and doesn't get it so he won't get his strip so what does he do here with this ward answer? I, uh, bring, uh, bring. Hmm. 
Didn't want to re-roll that? Seriously? Yeah, he... um, it's the second half. I don't know. The second half in a in a overtime format. Whereas Jim has so much more work to do to get to overtime. Gdanik, you know, why not why not just keep your re-rolls, you know, unless you can absolutely end the game. Yeah, I can't say I like it. Um, if you're going to go for it, go for it, you know? <laughs> he's in trouble here, though, because he's double, you know, he's double-based. Uh, he can, he's, you're not going to, I don't, you're not going to see a bolt here. Um, so. Assist in, he can get an assist in to get the, oh, uh, the word, uh, but the word answer is sidestep. So this is a, a little bit of a puzzle to solve. Yeah. Ooh, and, and one's a dodge and loses, oh, Ooh. that's it. This yeah. is the, the, the quote unquote rookie, even though he's got tackle, uh, war dancer. So, he can get flat far in. And I, I did not. GFIs. Oh, well, there we go. There's the bolt. Oh, uh, and Boom. the wizard's in, yep. Doesn't get the armor break, let alone a removal. Uh, that sucks for Jim. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, Shani. So now Jim Ken can uh, can blitz can blitz this catcher off, and uh, get his players into. Uh, he's got I mean he's got a ton of players that he can kind of retreat towards to protect against a counter wizard. Uh, this is yeah, Gdanik might be in a little bit of uh, might be in a little bit of trouble here. Um, well, in, in terms of ending the game early, cage coming in. Yeah, Jim's gonna Jim's gonna um, throw up a loose cage, isn't he? So uh... the question oh, is, foul, how... foul that war dancer, foul it, kill it, stomp on its face for God, no, no. Jim, no. no. <laughs> I mean, come on, man, you've been you, you were talking about how much you watched Jim. He's not fouling this game. No, he's, he's not. not he's not. But I, I would have <laughs> stopped on that fucker's face seriously. <laughs> And you would have rolled a four and lost. Your yeah, job. probably. Yeah, probably. But do you know what? The the payoff is huge, and Jim's men up anyway. Um, um, that's just me. You know, it's just me. Um, he's he's men up with men probably returning in in, in overtime. Yeah. Um, have Rebel adopted? They've adopted new rules for overtime, haven't they? If you decide to no receive, if you decide to receive, you have to score. If it ends on a draw, you lose the game. Ah. Well, I don't really think that uh, affects the coach in overtime. If you think <laughs> no. about it, if we don't receive they are going to score. And if Jim receives, you know. Yeah, he's, he's just going to waltz forward and pound their teeth in. Um, yeah. But yeah, but that, yeah. that is that is the rules. Um, I, I, I know so because McNaughton has told me, um, and he's an admin in Rebel, obviously. Um, yeah, if you if you decide to receive in overtime and you fail to score, um, then you lose the game. It doesn't go to kicks. That makes Gedenik's wizard in hand uh, ten times more valuable than it already was. Then. Yeah. Uh, because if Jim does win the toss, Gedenik has a shot of jarring the ball loose. And then he at that point, he doesn't even need to score. I mean, he still would else, so he probably will. But uh, it may, gives him one more competitive advantage if, if this uh, is going to overtime. And I'm starting to think it's probably going to. Yeah, yeah. Now, you know, having mentioned the overtime rule, it makes perfect sense why Gdanik has not fired off his wizard yet. You know, there, there were a couple of occasions where he could have. Um, so, I'm certain Jim didn't want to use his wizard there, but... I mean, there was just too much could have gone wrong if he didn't. Um, I think he so, had to, didn't he? He had to. Yeah. He was. Well, he could have. He could have filled in and and blocked, uh, blocked with don't call me Kev on the on the side stepper, so he wasn't basing the ball and then blitz the ball, blitz with the ball to free it, or just blitz to free the ball. But then he wouldn't have nearly as many players protecting it the next yeah. turn. So I think that was the right call. It's just it's not one you want to have to make. It was a bad spot. And he has recovered from it, but it still might. It leaves him in a in, in, in just as bad a spot being down the wizard now. Credit to Jim, though. Um, recovering from that spot was Absolutely. no mean feat. Yeah. Um, it was a great defensive scramble. So reinforcing what I said about Jim being one of the defensive players in the game. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, 
you know, a deep, deep kick, deep kick as chaos on a blitz against Wood Elves, and you're feeling pretty bad, but that might have saved the game for him, too, because the yeah. ball was just deep enough where Gidanik really couldn't, couldn't pressure him during the blitz. I mean, it was the next turn. Uh, and, uh, yeah, Jim, Jim able to consolidate here and just move up field. I don't even think we're going to see much resistance from Gidanik at this point, to be honest. No, I think so. Again, you know, as as a, an elf baller, would you be looking at player protection over stopping the score right now and fielding, you know, fielding yeah, as I, many players as possible in overtime? Um, yeah, I mean, with that wizard, with that wizard, you got to think, you know, well, even if it isn't a cage and I both I've got an edge five war dancer, they can just leap right in, grab it, and pass it to my edge five catcher. But, uh, so it's tempting. You want to stay relevant, but like you don't. I mean, if you lose that war dancer, you're in big trouble. Um, and again, Gedanik will have a one turn shot. Um, yeah, he's got a plus movement before on overtime many. at all. Yeah. But that one turn, the odds on the one turn go way down if those KOs don't wake up. And if Jim adds to that, um, which he's going to look to do, then um, you know you're in, you're in some you're in some trouble. So that AG5 catcher, movement nine, only needs one push, doesn't it? To be in scoring range with AG5. Oh, Jesus. Yep. You know what? Even if you're down to four or five elves, you can manufacture that, can't you? <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, oh, yeah, absolutely. I think, I, yeah, I, think, I think you would only need, like, five elves. Yeah, it's horrendous. Yeah, I think you would only need five elves. I don't know about ball retrieval at that point. Um but yeah, Gidanik's not even trying to stop him. I assume no. he's going to blitz that war dancer free of the tentacles and then try and screen the uh, erection catcher. Yeah, yeah. That um, that stunned, <laughs> that stunned catcher. He's kind of in a bad spot to go back and do. But now I'd start thinking about maybe fouling the player. Yeah. I'd rather, I'd rather do it on uh, on the edge five plus move. Um, Adon, as usual, has made a really good point. Jim can kind of scream with tents, though. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's uh, true. Yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, uh, Adon is normally right, to be fair. You know, um, when I normally commentate, he's correcting me left, right, and center because I'm just talking a bunch of shit. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> so. a good point. Uh, and obviously, I mean, you would always go with the move of nine over it, but the uh, the other edge five does have leap, um, yeah. which, you know... Can, could possibly get him over. I don't think Jim would. I mean, Jim's definitely not going to backline uh, against that. But um, he's got a lot of mobility to work with, uh, even for a Wood Elf team. Yeah, um, yeah, uh, Max. When you say the one term with elves seems not likely, he does have a dauntless elf, you know. So um, and he does have guard elf as well. Um, although his guard elf is sleeping at the moment, if he comes back. Yeah, it's one push, you know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you can get two pushes, you take it. But it's one push. Like you gotta just. Oh, and he just gave him a shot on that guy. Yeah. Oh, here it comes. This is a huge block. Oh, it gets away with it. Gets away yep. with it. That is not flat part. No pile on. Whew. I would not stand that player up. In this no. <laughs> Unless that dirty player comes over there. Foul now, him. I would actually, Kill him. <laughs> now, now I would consider even a two-man foul. He, yeah, doesn't he need the GFI to get over there? Maybe put one more guy on that body and do the plus two foul. Yeah. Come on, Jim. The power of calcium compels you to foul that catcher to death. Stomp on his face. This is this is where you know this is a you know I can't even say it's a weak point in Jim's game. It's a weak point in everyone's game. But Jim, Jim hates playing against wizards, as you well know, and he hates when wizards get held against him. So right now, he might he might not even be thinking about that foul. He's just thinking about that wizard and losing one you know losing one or two players defending the ball. Yeah, he's not going. Yeah, no, he can't. Uh, um, do you know what? I, I, I was I was being a bit flippant. Um, there was no way he could foul there, especially against a yeah. stunned player. It's it's a stupid yeah, yeah. foul, you know. As... No, I I agree. And there, you know, you get him out, and like I said, you've still got. Oh no, now you've got two pushes for the other catcher instead of one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, 
but I would still consider rotating that that dirty player out from the cage for someone else to try and maybe if I get a shot at it, you know, even if it's a plus nothing foul at this point, um, you're probably likely to be up man and play in uh, overtime anyway, unless, you know, uh, his KO rolls are excellent. So Red Joker, um, a development put, this is whiz bait. Yeah, whiz bait. But I think we've spoken enough about how Gadenik is just going to hold on to his whiz. Um, which he has done. Uh, Red Joker has put 2D on the ball with two leaps. Red Joker, you're right, but there is no way he is going to risk his Agi 5 War Dancer by leaping him into the middle of that cage. Um, uh, I, you know, it, it just wasn't going to happen. But you were right. Um, he had a shot at the ball if he wanted it. Yeah, I, I think I would trade out that dirty player for um, someone now uh, because I think, he, I think Jim... Jim shouldn't have too much problem scoring. I honestly, I, yeah, the wizard coming out or an aggressive ball sack right now um, would probably play more into Jim's hands than the Enix at this point. Yeah. And those two catchers would be the best thing Jim could do for himself in this game, I think. Oh, can't even remove. Now, do you know what? <laughs> that was a really good target to go for, that lino. That dauntless Absolutely. lino is going to play Absolutely. a big factor in the one turn. So, uh, can't even hit him. Uh, not only that, Mordam, but I said aggressive. Oh, and there's a Kaz. Tell you exactly what Jimmy's thinking right now. He's thinking, finally, for fuck's sake, really game? <laughs> and, and, it took, and it took Mighty Blow to get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. AV7 is a lie, ladies and gentlemen. It's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm starting to think that I, I'm starting to think that foul is real good right now. You know, he's got to keep advancing, but he's got, you know, he's got tackle up on the two biggest threats right now. He's got guard on the ball. Oh, no, he doesn't. Hey, he's not gonna do it. Oh, he, oh, oh I no, think he, does he is. I think he is. Yeah, I, I, he is. I, I can I feel it. I can feel it in my yeah. bones. Here it comes. Yeah, I think he is. And, and this this will kind of force Gdanik's hand because, like, he's not going to get a better shot than, you know, a based cage. Uh, not that he can really do much in a based cage, but um, I, I still don't think Gdanik's going to burn his wizard. Jim's no. thinking about it. He's thinking long and hard about it. Oh, he refused <laughs> it. Discipline. <laughs> Discipline. That hurts, that hurts your soul a little bit, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Shawnee. He did, but he's got enough time. Like he, you know, Kadenek's not going to be able to slow him down really at all at this point. Thinking though, oh, how nice would it have been? Fire, you could not. You cannot fireball. <laughs> Five man fireball. That's as bait as as you get. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay. There is no way Kadenek is going to fireball. I would, I right? I but I'm a shitter. So. <laughs> I don't think so. Jim wants him to. You know, I think that, again, I think that plays right into Jim's hands. It's his best case is getting, his best chance of winning this game is, is getting rid of the wizard for overtime. And then, you know, the, the one turn being whatever the one turn is going to be. He has very little he can do at this point other yeah. than removing a player. There is no other team in Blood Bowl that can give you as many problems with only, what, five, six active players, you know, <laughs> in an active position on the pitch. No other team in Blood Bowl gives you any problems. You get them down to eight and seven, and they're screwed. Murder teams, the lot of them. But Wood Elves, even if there's four bastard Wood Elves on the pitch, they can still give you all kinds of problems, can't they? Yeah, but Vamps are slow. Like, yeah, Vamps always have a shot at the ball, basically. Yeah, so like and, and, and Slan rely on a free, yeah Slan rely on a three plus, not a two plus. Uh, so, <laughs> but I I I don't I don't struggle if I get Slan down to or Kislev down to seven players. I'm 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 not stressing about him. Um, if I get Vamps down to seven players, that's great because generally it's the peasants that have gone off the pitch. Um, but Wood Elves, yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, yeah, I, I would say Skaven are probably the close. Skaven with developed gutters, yeah, they're about yeah. as close as they come. But like, you know, they, you know, they still gotta get the ball off. You. <laughs> yeah. 
and and yeah, Gnanik thinking for the first half of his epic four minute turn here about whether to use this wizard. I I just can't see it. You know, I don't know. No, he's held on to it this long. It makes no sense for him to use it at this point. Um, you know, Jim is really player heavy in the right part of the pitch. Yeah, it makes no sense for him to use it. So Yeah, I think he's just, you know, I mean, again, though, bad KO rolls, a failed one turn, bad KO rolls, and Jim winning a 50-50 coin flip. And being tempted to try and make Edge 5 win you the game right now. <laughs> Especially when you have a, a an edge five catcher just completely on his own, um, the sea lion would help sound impression. You can um, just get the ball to go anywhere. If you can get the ball yeah. to go anywhere outside of like two tackle zones. You're probably gonna score. Yeah. You know, if I was thinking, I'd, I'd bolt, but like, you're you know, a bolt now is probably going to need. A miraculous scatter, or you know, a, sec a follow up blitz scatter. Use it. Wow. I just, I just don't think it makes any sense. In fact, in fact, Gdynik could even use the wizard to assist in the one turn attempt. It would be rowdy. You know, I mean, I, yeah, I wouldn't do that unless, it, yeah, I don't think, I don't think that would come into play, really. Um, ten seconds. Wait, is my replay frozen, or is Gdynik just not doing anything? Um, yeah, do you know what? I don't quite know what happened there. Um, I think Gdynik is just, he had time left, didn't he? Yeah, but now it's, it's still good. So I'm looking at Jim's stream. And it looks like. So I don't know where where are you in your replay right now? Um, I'm on turn 13 for Gdanik with no time remaining. Ah uh, no! In that case, I'm on turn 14 for Gdanik. Right, he's just fired the wizard, and it's failed. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Holy shit balls! Oh, what a time! What a time for my replay to free. <laughs> oh my god! Right. Okay. So basically, Gdanik. <laughs> We've been talking about how disciplined he's been, and he decided to fire a bolt, and it's just one on the ball carrier. So oh, that now, is incredible. oh, that's huge. I gotta say, in the four minutes that I sat there, thought thinking Gdanik was thinking about it, I um, I did talk myself into using the wizard there. That is, uh, well, Jim's, yeah, there it is. Oh, and he fails the first dodge as well. Holy shit! Wow. Nuffle has finally said. Bend over, G'day, Nick. It's your time. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's definitely going overtime now, and now it now it really is kind of that coin flip game. Uh, well, I'm sorry, that's not true. He's still got the the one turn. Uh, G'day, Nick really wants that one turn right now. He hasn't even stood up erection. And, uh, whoops. <laughs> wow. Wow. Erection is not, not at full attention right now. Let's just um, say that. Titus, Jim used his wizard in turn nine to recover from a really bad defensive position. Um, oh, sorry, offensive position. So He got yeah. blitzed on to open, open his drive. Yeah, he had he to use it. it. Leah, how you doing? No, I, I'd be interested to see what chat thinks of that wizard. I, um, I Like I said, I talked myself into using the bolt there. Uh, the one is obviously just, what are you going to do? But... Man, a, a scatter, you know, a scatter through any chaos player at that point, and his edge five had a real shot of getting it and just closing yeah. his game out. Yeah, I, but yeah, it's hard. It's I'm hard really fifty fail. fifty with yep. it. I'm really fifty fifty with it. Um, you know, he's been so disciplined in not using his wizard. I, 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 I would have been inclined. I would have been inclined to let Jimmy score, and then use the wizard for the one turn but you know no, I, don't, I don't really know where you're using the wizard for the one turn there though i mean it depends on how jim sets up i guess but i, I would well, I, just, I can't yeah, just sap him one of the just sap him one of the tentacles because jimmy's going to be relying on his strength and tentacles yeah. so um or maybe leaving it or maybe using those maybe using the wizard in this turn turn 15 instead of turn 14 i i, I get why he did it and it failed thank you, thank you <laughs> i don't i mean 
I don't even see how that would come in. What? What? <laughs> I'm just, just showing off my wood elf chops here, you know? <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen anyone use a wizard on a monster <laughs> that wasn't burned. <laughs> right, well, it's some ne obviously it's some next level shit that you guys just ain't getting right now, you know? But what can I say? <laughs> I'm just, you know, showing, showing how much I play wood elves, basically. <laughs> you know for certain is that there's no chance today that he can use a wizard on a monster one turn because it fizzled on him and now that's mm, i mean that that or the coin flip at this point i'd say you know one turn with this team is probably about a 50 50 all things considered yeah, yeah. it's fine it's, it's all a moot point now isn't it so um you know um yep. Gudenik's gonna be gonna go for the one turn uh, what's his KO situation like? Yeah, he needs he needs. Yeah, he, he's gonna need some KOs for overtime. Yeah. <laughs> Don, yes, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> Harsh but true. Les joueurs viennent au soutien de leur coéquipier. Yeah, cheeky, uh, cheeky removal here. No, forget it. Would have been, uh, would have been just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> well, Jimmy's down. Jimmy's down to ten, isn't he? Um, yep. It's KO nice. rolls. He's gonna again two shots at him. Yeah. But we are moving into honest blood bowl now, aren't we? We, you know, no more wizards. No more shenanigans. If Gaudet Nick fails his one turn, we're moving into Honest Blood Bowl. Well, honest Blood Bowl with a coin flip. I mean, I, Jim, I don't think Jim, I don't think Jim likes his odds uh, defending, defending a, in, in overtime against this team. Can't defend against the Nagy Five Leap, can you? You just can't do it. Yeah, exactly, Morden. <laughs> yeah, it, there's nothing honest about Agi Five, is there? It's um, it's just. Oh, he's got to be. Oh, he's got to be there. All right, there he goes. Flatboard finally gets him down. No break. Free pile on. It gets a KO. But again, two shots of KOs for over. Given that Jimmy's at the square root of fuck all when it comes to attrition this game, he'd, I'd be like, thank you very much, Neville. God bless you. <laughs> oh, look at that. A little, a little mug off. A little mug off for the touchdown. <laughs> it for Jim to win the toss in overtime and then get blitzed on a second time. Oh, you... like, wouldn't that just be the most, the most Wood Elf game imaginable? Uh-oh. Uh, no KOs yeah. come back. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, that that, that kind of takes the one turn off. He's got, he, in theory, has enough, but I can't imagine. I wouldn't use a reroll on this. No. It was the last GFI. If anyone knows how to defend against the one turn touchdown, it's Jimmy Fantastic. No pressure. <laughs> Here comes your riot, by the way. Riot. <laughs> Quick snap. They all hurt, don't they? <laughs> they all hurt. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, honestly, I might even, you know, like, I mean, I wouldn't play. Looking, looking at that defensive front. Maybe you just throw that you just throw that catcher in a wide zone and yeah, hope for the quick snap or the yeah. riot. Yeah. And then just go to overtime and count your blessings. Views expressed in this stream are not Rather than supported by the any level sort of admitting. risky things that could <laughs> lose you enough because you're probably not gonna get four KOs back. So you're down you're down a fair few elves at this point. Was it was it justice? For Gadenik to roll really badly on the KO rolls, because to be fair, 
I, I don't think his dice have been utterly spectacular, but he's really not failed a lot either, is he? You know, other, other, know. Than, the, other than a, p p you know, a pivotal wizard. <laughs> he he really done, to be fair, though, he hasn't really done anything all that disgusting. If you really kind of go back and look at it, he didn't, you know, he, he had one turn where Edge 5 really mattered, I think. On his score, well, he, rolled like two his or three. he rolled two or three yeah. one Ds without a reroll, didn't he? Yeah, uh, which... yeah, yeah, but look, they're one Ds with block, I think. You know, the like, they weren't terrible. It was, but again, it was kind of without. Yeah, it was against the Chaos Warrior without block, it was, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was yeah you're, you're right. It, yeah, a few dodges. Now, uh, yeah, and it is still sunny currently, uh, as Jim learned <laughs> on his two turn attempt. Yeah, Moradam, I think you're right. Um, and I don't care what anyone says, and again, it's my opinion, but Elf Ball is a lot easier than Bash. Uh, I mean, that's, yeah. yeah. That's exactly it. The fact that the, the fact that Gedanik has a chance at equal, you know, equal men in overtime is, you know, I mean, you, against one, well, I mean, Jim's team has kind of regressed over time recently, but like, one of the killier teams, you know, he's going to face with this team. Uh, yeah, that's, that, that is, that's probably where he's been the luckiest. I would imagine the armor and injury rolls um, in the stats following the game will make for good read, good reading. <laughs> Especially if you're a Wood Elf fan, you know, it'll make for very good reading. I mean, he did use his Apo, uh, you know, so, you know, we only see one in, uh, oh, I'm sorry. You know, yeah, we only see one at the box there, but uh, you know he did have two removals. Uh, yeah, you know two cas on him. So the fact that 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 apple went out relatively quickly um, and nothing since has got to be stinging Jim a little bit, especially yeah. if those chaos wake up. Christ, this is a long setup, isn't it? <laughs> Good old rebel in their four minute turns. God bless them. Uh -huh. Well, that can only benefit Jim if he gets out of turn 16. So it looks like. Hey, looks like two red. No, I don't even know how he. Huh? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, so you could bring. Some... Uh, neither of those catchers have sidestep, do they? So, oh. yeah, I don't. I, he, yeah, so he can leap in. He can leap in and hit flat part, but he's got to fill some squares to be able to. Yeah. Push er, erection up. Oof, that's. <laughs> well, he's yeah, got to fill. Looks... He's got to fill the square um, directly below the movement nine catcher, hasn't he? Yeah, which which you can do with the with the ball carrier. Where you can pick up the ball and hand it off in a tackle zone, um, and fill that square. But no, he's got to fill one. That, he? Yeah, he's out of range. Yeah, he... I don't think so. Yeah, he's there. Okay. Oh, he's there. Right. Cool. Bonne transmission. Ça joue sans accro. Yeah, he doesn't have side tip, so I'm not sure how. Where where does that push come from? Yeah, I don't. I I I think he's balls this up. Well, I don't think I don't think he really had a a, a, a chance. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Um, when I say boost this up, oh, no, no, um, no, he didn't. He didn't. He can dodge the loner out, and then jump into. He can leap in between flat part. No. Okay, I see what he's doing. Christ. Yeah, but. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Oh, he doesn't want that. No. You can't it. Yeah. So he needed the push there. Okay, so he's going to do it on the follow-up. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. See, that's that's what happens when you're so good at one D pals. Okay, so that's like a reverse <laughs> a reverse one D pal Yahtzee thing going on, isn't it? <laughs> no mercy in this dojo. Oh, lucky to not lose the loner. There. Yeah. AV7, honestly. Fucking titanium. <laughs> All right, here it comes. KO rolls and the coin flip. What do we got?
Oh my lord! Oh. Didn't even look. Uh, Jim has lost the toss and no KO rolls. So this is about as even a game as you're gonna get for overtime. Yeah. This is this is as this is as good a shot as Jim could have had. So you know, we'll see. But again, I mean, getting needs one square to score. Yes. So we're this once again is not over blob skills. Once again, we're in that situation where if most other teams were down to six players, you would love this position right now. But what else? At this point, I, I know you've got a, a little bit of an edge bias here, but uh, if you're good Danik now, pretty much since that blitz or since the since Jim's wizard, nothing has really gone your way at all. I mean. Eight failed KO rolls in a row, a one on a wizard. Yeah, yeah. We, you know, we we pissed on Gaday Nick a little bit. Well, we haven't pissed on him. We've, you know, we've. Still, I haven't. No, we we've gently mocked the fact that he's had really good dice. But yeah, the second half he's had very little, and the failure of the wizard as well. So, on balance, I think your statement at the start of this overtime was perfect. This is about as balanced the game as you can get. Um, I think both parties can feel pretty aggrieved with the kind of dice they've had in each half, you know? Um, so, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, yeah see. I, I, we'll see what happens, I guess. But I think I think Jim's Jim's bad fortune has made his life a lot harder. Gedanik's bad fortune thus far cost him a win. Might not yeah. make him lose, but it's cost him a win. Yeah. Yeah, two re-rolls aside, and what we got? Eight, 10 on six <laughs> yeah you know but those numbers don't mean all that much uh in for you know effectively two turns of overtime is probably what we're looking at here if something doesn't go jim's way because you know gadanik you know like three of those you know three of those chaos players are going to be on the wrong side of the pitch yeah. for you know if gadanik wins this it'll be in two or three turns so three of those players are not going to do a whole lot yeah, G'day Nick's only chance here is to punch really quick, isn't it? Quick, get in, job done. Yeah. Otherwise, this is where you're just absolutely sweating. Uh, kickoff, kickoff table, though. You know, I was that about could to just say, um, G'day Nick has game. the fame, um, so that could play a factor yeah. here. I don't think we're going to see those bribes <laughs> flexed at all. <laughs> no, no. Um, Fucking rock. Uh, maybe from Jim. Maybe from right Jim. now, that would be horrendous, yeah. wouldn't it? <laughs> oh shit! If you know, if if you know, if Kadenik like fluffed the pick off deep or something, or pick up deep or something, Jim, no reason for Jim to not foul at the end of his turn with a bribe. Keep you know, keep removing elves is really oh, his only shot. Yeah, yeah. Kadenik here just needs to end this in two turns. What a game. What a game. Yeah, it really turned out to be a, a good one. It was looking, it was feeling really dire for Jim. For a big one. Wow, it just felt like one of those classic Jim playoff games. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he, you know, he did, he didn't really, I mean, I don't think he made any mistakes in the second half, surely, um, given what he had to start with. But, uh, he hasn't, he, honestly, he didn't have to do a whole lot in the second half once he kind of recovered that ball. Once that wizard came out, um, he just had to play it really safe against Kinanik's wizard, and then... Oh. <laughs> oh, wow, there <laughs> we go. It is a deep kick. Jim has to be a little bit careful here because, again, you know, he, he probably just wants to put that movement nine guy on his ass. Um, Jim's, Jim's got one thing in mind here, here, I think, and that is flap fart hitting that war dancer no uh, i don't think so i think he's gonna I, I think he's gonna go in on uh i think he's gonna go in on erection here yeah uh, maybe not maybe he can't get to him nope no he didn't go with flat part there you go a stun on him that yeah. pretty much huge it's gonna huge. take it's gonna take something something uh, very lucky for Gdanik at this point to have a shot. And again, Edge 5 can always do it, but uh, losing that player for 
a turn against a four-man advantage is pretty much ball game. So have we reached the point now where Jimmy's dicing Gdanik? <laughs> uh, again, I think I think team bias plays into that. You know, if you were, uh, you know, if you played a lot of games with Wood Elves and you're sitting there and you played this game as Wood Elves before and lost it, you're sure yeah. you're certainly feeling like. Day next being this. I, honestly, I think it's a pretty even game. Yeah. Um, you know, Jim's team didn't didn't oh. end up playing to its strengths, and Gedanix did, but Gedanix dice have spoiled a little bit more than Jim's dice have. I think. Yeah, I, f I think you're right, and I think yeah. the old um the old uh, blood bowl scales are tipping significantly in Jim in Jimmy's favor right now. And yeah, again, it's it's hard to be objective because I just want to see Wood Elves get murdered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't um, know. I'm, I, I wouldn't mind seeing a plus nothing foul on that I on that it, yeah. uh, on that catcher. But it's again it's not really helping positionally when you've got an edge five leaper that can just kind of get away and then you know you still got you still gotta knock the ward answer down. At the end of the day, you've got uh, some tackle, but... Blob skills, yeah, the way Jimmy's team looks, there should be six dead elves, but AV7, you know, <laughs> it's, it's impenetrable. <laughs> yeah, and I, but again, there you go, I'm with both these. Like, he only has two mighty blows, you know? Yeah, it's not with yeah. this team, you know, this team a year ago or whatever, totally different thing. Well, half you a know, dozen games ago, <laughs> before he got saved, yeah. there for you know, but... yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, not even a whole season ago. Yeah, and you're like, how the hell does Gedanik have more than three elves on the pitch? But again, those those go over eight on KO rolls in the second half is the great equalizer. Those guys might as well be in the cast box. Yeah, you know. So Jimmy might as well have gotten you know five casts. Yeah, no as good idea. as a Kaz. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I tell you one thing that is going to happen next turn. I give you a gym guarantee that that catch is getting fouled all day, without question. Well, well. So again, though, here, here's what Gennady is doing. Find himself a turn to try and get two players in scoring range on Jim's half. I think. Yeah, he's not going to get it. That's a reroll, right? Is it? You reroll? I mean, no, I don't reroll that. Why? He's you only have. I, I think. He yeah, does. he's only got two turns left. There you go. He's only got two turns left in this game. <laughs> so he's got to try and get two guys out. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Yeah. yeah. I don't really know. The problem is I don't know how he – he actually has a two-plus out with that loner. A two-plus, two-plus out to be a midfield kind of handoff guy. Yeah. Uh, the other loner is a little bit tougher. Oh, they're both against tentacles. They're though. both against mm -hmm. tents, aren't they? Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, tents does its thing. Oh, there's oh. one. Can it go? Can you get two? Oh, oh there we go. Yeah, Christ. One up on the that was ballsy. Wait. Oh, weird. Uh, yeah, I I would have gone. I would have gone backwards, not forwards, but. <laughs> Oh no, I mean he no no, I'm sorry, I was looking at the wrong guy down on the ground. I was looking at the erection catcher. I can't right. know the directions. Um yeah, so Jimmy, no. Jimmy's opted to just hold that line over there. Would um given the fact he's got nothing else to blitz, or maybe he's actually gonna try and blitz the catcher defending the war dancer and really put yeah, some pressure on yeah, yeah I mean, that's, that's what he's doing in it he's got to keep the ball down in that half because again that catcher i mean no matter what he does that war dancer can leap away run eight squares and just bomb it you well, know that, that might be that's why I, that's why i thought blitzing the scoring threat would have been a better play here oh it doesn't get him down i don't know that that's going to affect a whole lot yeah, I I think I would have blitzed the scoring threat there. I gotta be honest. Jim's got to, uh, yeah, Jim's got to make a nice screen here and make this ball really hard to catch because that war dancer can get into range to make a I think a four yeah. plus pass. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's the foul on that catcher. That was that was kind of written in stone at this point. Um, you know, I mean, he has no choice but to go for this, but. 
Um, I hope this doesn't cost Jim, but I, I'm, I, I'm, you know, bearing in mind it's very sunny as well. It's going to be a long bomb at best in the sunshine. Um, uh, no, because he can get up. He can get up with two GFIs. He can get one square to the left of the. <clears throat> I, I uh, so might be there. long pass. Yeah, which. Yeah, but I mean it's very sunny, so yeah. I think we're four plus or five plus. I'm terrible at. Oh, uh, see, he's think, blocked. Jim's I blocked. I think it's a four. Um, but how can you really block it off against that? Just five. Still just a bunch of twos. Interestingly, Gadena could, in theory, sideline cage. He could, you know, yeah. try his luck against against the tackler and sideline cage halfway up his own, you know, dodge that loner out and then try and buy, buy time for next turn, basically. But, yeah. I mean, he'll get sworn. It's just, it, it seems kind of unlikely at this point that he's going to make a pass to a man in two tackle zones with tents on him. This is some yeah. tough shit, isn't it? It's, yeah, I think, I think you're right, Johnny, but, like, I don't know. I don't... Yeah, I'm I'm with Shawnee on this one. Um, generally, Shawnee knows what he's talking about, and I don't. Yeah, yeah, but, certainly, um, certainly. Uh, yeah. Yes, I'd be I'd be really afraid. Yes, he's not doing it. I think no, he's, he's caging. Fight. Yeah, he's gonna cage up. Yeah. He can get. I mean, he can get pretty much. He's not gonna GFI. Yeah, so he can bring him up there. He can get that loner out and make it a, a, a sideline cage. If he can get that loan, the other loner off the tentacles. It's not the worst thing. He oh, can dear. Oh, boy. He's got to make, <laughs> make a loner reroll. Yep. Oh, and he, no. fails. he makes the loner reroll and <laughs> fails the dodge. Yeah. Nuffle says, get on the fucked. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, now he needs bad dice from Jim. Straight up. He just needs a bad blitz from Jim. It's his only hope. Yeah. Oh, and the break on the score threat. Yeah, this is um, I, I, I would be the one to say. You know, I, I, I would be pretty content saying the dice have removed the, uh, removed this game from G'day, Nick. Yeah. I still don't yeah. think. I, yeah. I still don't think either coach can like call it a dicing. But I think we get a little bit too sticky on what a dicing is and isn't these days. And, you yeah, know, we because, all yeah, play the we, yeah. We all play the information same. bias, isn't it? Yeah, we we all we we're all biased yeah. to our own dice. None of us remember the you know the pocket aces that come up trumps. We only remember the bad beats, don't yeah. we? So uh, yeah. you know, um, and, that, and that's that's just the way it is. You know, it's... at this point, I think Gedanik's only hope is not getting tackled down <laughs> on his yeah. dancer, which, which you know, Jim's proven all game. He's capable of doing. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'd be ner not. I'd be nervous if they, um, if Jimmy had converted this to a 3D. <laughs> uh oh, we roll. And there you go. No. There you go. Uh, can't. I mean, he might as well just move up. I think. Yeah, he's got to keep tents on it, any. Oh yeah. yeah. He's gonna. Have, yeah, he's gonna have to break. He's gonna have to break tents no matter what. So he might as well get himself as close as he can. Uh, interesting question is if we see another foul on the edge five mover uh, move catcher. Because he's going to be in play next turn. Yeah, I think we are. Um, yeah. Got to but, foul him, haven't you? Got to. Yeah, but you know that could uh, that could remove. I don't think that does a whole it's lot. One in seventeen with a bribe in it. Oh, he yeah, hasn't. He's not doing it yet. Yeah. So. yeah. Oh, you see, he is. Look at that. The big <laughs> running. Here we go. <laughs> Take me out. Yeah. What do we know? As much. Of course, he had to do the run up. Just the start. God bless right. you. God bless you. The classic, fantastic yeah. run-up. <laughs> totally faked me out with that. Yeah, it faked both of us out. We're both like, oh my God, he's not doing it. What do we know? Next yeah. level play from Jimmy Fantastic. You're, uh, yeah, we're just into, we're into how good are War Dancer, Edge 5 War Dancer's territory now. He basically just needs to ride this guy to victory or defeat. <clears throat> I'm really glad I jumped into the commentary on this. This has been an amazing game. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, both. I'm, I'm really impressed with the fact that it would have been very easy after the first half, especially the Blitz, for Jim to just tilt off the planet. And 
We've all seen it, you know, and I'm not suggesting it's a yep. slight on Jim because Jim tilts nowhere near as much as I do, for instance. Um, all things considered, all the talk we did about the, the Wizard Stadium and just Gadena having a massive advantage, turned out Jim, Jim the sake, Wizard, Tony. saved Stop being the game shit. for him, 100%. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. like that, that was it, you know? I mean, you, I mean, you take those odds every time as with this Wood Elf team, but in, in this particular case, that's what we got. Seeing Jim and uh, Nick talking, I think. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looking at the client. <laughs> oh, shit. Is the timer running down again on Jim's turn? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, you're, you're good. You're good. <laughs> Spamming hello chats. <laughs> like, you know, much stranger things have happened even in this game. Uh, this board answer could just continually survive. You know, at this point, I gotta believe it's gonna be three dice hits and score he, in in the next yeah. two turns. Right? It could so, happen. So, what does this war dancer do? Does this war dancer? I think his only option really is just to potato the shit out of this and run down the left hand side, isn't it? Well, if he really wanted to, he could dodge out, film a crack in the catcher, bring yeah. him up to be to base um floor trout and then he could actually two die or no he couldn't i'm sorry he couldn't because that's uh that's a war uh, that's a chaos warrior i guess he could he could actually blitz he could leap and blitz floor trout to try and put one chaos player on the ground and just keep going up the sideline um because if he sticks on the sideline with the sidestep he doesn't have to worry about getting surfed VGP yeah. is Batman. The sweeper is gonna have to GFI to hit him. Um, yeah, yeah. Not. <clears throat> I think that's his only play. Oh, uh, I. You know what? My uh, man, my replay has frozen again because they. Oh just... no! Yeah, I'm coming. I'm I'm working on it. Well, they've they've done nothing. Um, it's three oh five on my clock. Um, they've done absolutely yeah. nothing. So, uh, yeah, no, no, good day, no. Nick is doing what good decent blood. Bowl coaches do taking his time yeah, looking yeah, at all the options four, instead of playing like me like a shitter <laughs> just and fucking impulse doing something and thinking oh bollocks <laughs> yeah, i mean that, i mean that's something to be said about the four i mean four minute turns and rebel seems insane to me i have a i have like a 58 minute average uh game time in yeah. <laughs> in ccl on the few games i play i just don't like playing that long but yeah if you stop and think yeah, yeah. so Gedanik is going for the play I called here. Um, looks like a probably a leap, a leap two die blitz and just yeah. run right up the sideline. Just pushes though. Don't make a lot of odds that push, does it? Um, yeah. Other than, yeah. you know, giving that catch or something I mean, to think about. Get, yeah, I mean, if you can get a guy on the ground, you want a guy on the ground, but he's just going to dodge away. Yeah. Um, doesn't, I don't know that a G, the GFIs matter because Volva drill, well. Yeah, the, the GFIs don't actually matter because you can get too many players in, so I don't think there's any reason to risk them. Yeah, there's well, I guess, oh, actually, one gets him away from the defense. So, right, uh, but, okay, um, Skuro. So he's basically not followed your advice and not hugged the sideline, which I think is a mistake because he's allowed this... He's allowed this... Oh, no, he's going to base oh, the... No, oh, oh, look at that. Some loner bullshit. <laughs> Holy cow. So Jim's going to have to... Now Jim could still, if he wanted to, brainless chaos could uh, could double GFI. Double I don't GFI think to Jim. Either, he might just single GFI to put tents on him again, though. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, single GFI for tents. Um, he could manufacture a three D on this war dancer with a couple of the loose players, um, but that would be without tackle. I, well, I don't think uh, burner. I don't. I don't know that uh, we should be good as a statement. I used seeing some of Jim's other. Yeah, 3Ds. you seen Jim roll three Ds recently. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean the odds are wildly in his favor. But if he doesn't get him down now, he loses. So I mean, straight up. Because if Jim does get tense on the ball, do you do you consider even a? I guess I, I I don't know the odds. Those are that, that's math that I don't want to do at 8 a.m. Uh, oh Jesus, 9 a.m. <laughs> uh, but uh, if you do get tense on the ball, 
do you red die blitz with the uh, you know to get the tents off the ball, or do you just try your hand at beating? I you think know, given I think given it's strength four. Oh, he's well, gone he for it. Double GFI, and Got he it. does get. It. Uh, still a scoring threat if armor doesn't break, though. Yeah. But you know that war dance is getting stepped on. He is risking the ball scatter. Oh, not a great ball scatter. Still a chance, though. Um, I don't know. I think that's I think that's quite a good ball scatter for the chaos, isn't it? I was talking to the. I was talking to the. Yeah, ah, right. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Scattering out and landing in the hands of a Chaos Warrior. I think that's about as good as Jim could have had. Here you go. This is pretty much the game. Oh, I couldn't break armor. What the hell? What the hell? There is a chance. Now, uh, also of note, the Adge 5 Movement 9 catcher is in range of the ball. Yeah, yeah. It's not great, but it's Adge 5 and Move 9. Good uh, God. Could be. Jimmy, Jimmy is hit as hard as a pillowcase full of kittens this game, hasn't he? <laughs> actually, actually both, both, I mean, so also the other, the Edge 5 move 8 catcher also obviously not knocked down, also in range of the ball. So this is going to, if if Gidena can pull off a play here, this is going to start feeling real, Jim's going to feel real sad about the conclusion. Yeah. Uh, but if Gidena can't pull off a play here, that's, that's pretty much it. Oh, that That's is the nice only other guy that could have helped, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, nice little KO there. That'll make Jim feel a little bit better. So now we're basically elf bullshit or bust, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, we, we, we've done. been like that. We've been like that since turn 17, haven't we? But it really is elf bullshit or bust now. All right, so call your plays here. Do you just... <clears throat> oh, the... oh, I'm sorry. So that's an edge by a lead catcher too. So he can get... He can conceivably get in on that ball. Yeah. He get two plus so, two plus two plus in tackle and then leap on the ball for a miracle pickup, but then what? <laughs> yeah, then, then where'd you go? Um, oh, oh, he just he does, uses the leap early. Oh, interesting. Uh, Gedanik's going to draw this out for a turn. I think. Wow. He's gonna try and, uh, red dice the tenths, maybe? Uh, a blitzing and then leap out. He's going to be one. He's going to be one. Do you go for a red die here, or do you uh, just well, stand him up and let him absorb hits? Uh, maybe. <sighs> There's tack. I mean, it's tackle though. Yeah, he's got a tackle on him, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, he's got. I don't no, think. Is uh, his play? He's going to leap, take, catch the ball, yeah. try to bullshit dodge out, and go for the big pass. That's, That's his play. That. Yeah. Oh, it's actually it's a one die. It's not even a red die. It's a one die on the tents because of the guard. Yeah. 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 Good call, Dante Kellis. My bad. Yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah he's gonna make the play on the ball right here. <laughs> Doesn't now what? I think now maybe you just sit there. <laughs> yeah. No, leaps onto the ball, picks it up because of edge five. But now he's he's gonna be stuck with it. He's gonna have to make a, a three plus with a, a three plus two plus. Two plus. Oh, he, honestly. <laughs> Tentacles holds him in the end. Jimmy will be re breathing a massive sigh of relief. Yeah, you know, he failed it. I was like, wait, why did he end? He ended his second Tentacles there. Still got to knock that guy down, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, Yeah, he can three dice him, though, pretty easily. He can, yeah. Oop. Dodge fail, and that's that's the turn. Man, that poor, that movement nine catcher has not been able to do anything because of that blitz. Jimmy has frozen that player down so well. Yeah. Um, I'm, Are you yeah. Jimmy's blitz coming at a better time than Gidanix, I think? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so much more effective. You know, yeah. the way Jim, I mean, the way Jim has scrambled this yeah. game, don't get me wrong, Gidanix played really well. To be even in the position where you're threatening right now, given the Shawnee way that Jim has played. Yeah. Shawnee with an excellent point. The format going to come into play here because uh, Jimmy yeah. doesn't have to score. If he did, he'd have to start thinking about how long it's going to take him yeah. to get that yeah. ball out of the war dancer's hands and into the end zone. Uh, but that's something he really doesn't have to be concerned with at all. 
I so much prefer this. I don't know what they're going to call it, like a golden goal format or something. But it just makes so much more sense than just going to a D6 roll and add your re-rolls. You know, um, that's just such bullshit following a really good game of Blood Bowl, isn't it? Similar to what the, uh, the NFL did in American football uh, with their overtime rules. Uh, probably about 10 years ago now, they had a, a playoff game where the best quarterback in the league, uh, not named Tom Brady at the time, uh, who's the greatest of all time, if anyone didn't know. Um, but the best quarterback in the league sat on the bench in overtime. And this happens all the time in the NFL. It happened all the time in the NFL. Uh, just sat on the bench because he, you know, his team, he, he never got the ball in overtime because it was goal to goal. And so right. they adopted it. That if you receive the kickoff and you score a touchdown, you win. But if you don't, the other team gets a shot. Like kick a field goal or turn it over. The other team right. gets a shot. At it. Uh and it's definitely better. It's definitely better uh, to see a little bit of play out. Now, you still score a touchdown. You still win. So. I'm a little bit surprised Jimmy didn't turn that into a 3D. Didn't need to. Um, the problem is, if he overcommitted and turned that into a 3D and this ball scatters horribly. <laughs> what is going on, boy? I was like, Jim's just sitting there. <laughs> I shouldn't feel too bad that we have a game that lets us watch watch games in play at all, but uh, <laughs> that's getting kind of annoying. Finally, Jimmy manages to smash my cocks hard, which is probably one of the best commentary statements I've ever made. That bull scatter! That bull scatter! Oh my god! I'm just getting caught up here, I think. Oh, I had, well, basically the ball is scattered into, well, a perfect position for Kudenik. He's It's actually giving him a shot. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Yeah, he does. I mean, he's got to roll some dice for it, but, uh, man, I am. Do you keep freezing, dear? No, I'm back in. I'm just, I'm behind even Jimmy's. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm Jimmy's <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. That's really, really annoying. Uh, Volps, yeah. Um, was he in range to go for the pickup? Uh, I don't think he was in range. I think he had to double GFI to base the ball. Uh, I could be wrong. Ah, the DP could. All right, gotcha, gotcha. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um yeah, oh, I guess we're going to find out in a moment, aren't we? There's not much here but to break tentacles. Maybe one, do you 1D? I guess you 1D. 3 plus to get another 3 plus on the ball versus... So, uh, is it three plus, three plus? without hitting the sound... Oh, right, so he's failed. He's failed to dodge. Oh, there so. you go. <laughs> there you go. And that's, that, that should be the ball. Yeah, Jimmy will shut this right down now. Shut this down. What a game! Holy crap! Yeah, yeah, that turned out to be uh, turned out to be something like yeah. Both teams, both teams getting uh, some bad luck when they didn't need it, and then uh, <laughs> drawing it right out. Yeah, Jimmy. You know, let's let's make uh, uh, let's make no bones about it. Jimmy has had the lion's share of the dice <laughs> from turn nine onwards. You know, hey. um, after the blitz, but. It sure is something, you know, what do you got? Uh, seven, seven KOs, one Kaz, and he apoed another Kaz. So, like, that is, that's about as, as good as, as you can hope for for removals, but it's kind of just hilarious that none of those, none of those KOs are Kaz. Jimmy still cannot break armor seven. Oh, and sure hand saving him from another yeah. shot. He almost uh, didn't take sure hands pre-match, didn't he? He was debating it. He was debating, oh, should I take sure hands? Um, I, he sort of talked himself into it, but, there, you know, he may have, you know, he, he sort of had to take sure hands, really, didn't he, with a strip baller? He was up against a strip baller, but... <laughs> so, Gdanik's, uh er erection can get up and hit the ball here, um, but it would be a red die hit. Yeah, so tough as well. Mm -hmm. Um Interesting that, uh, I mean, I guess he kind of, yeah, I guess he has to get it towards the bulk of his team. But again, 
Jimmy not having a score, and that and that's that. Uh, Jimmy not having a score means he doesn't have to go any further. You know, just just yeah, surround well. you. Know, he can death star the ball with the rest of his team at this point. Yeah, <laughs> there's not much Canada can do for two turns. Jimmy will absolutely push um, uh, for, for the score because why not give SPPs to his sure hands beastman? And he can do it pretty, pretty safely. You know, he can cage up, can't he? So. I mean, I, I'd be interesting to hear Jimmy's take on this game. I'm sure he was incredibly frustrated for uh, right up until his wizard and then spent the rest of that, the second half, terrified of Gdanik's wizard. So he probably wasn't feeling too good the entire game. This is this is probably why it's better to not stream your own games, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, if, yeah. He, if he's trying to talk while he's playing this game, he's going to work himself into more of a, you know, into, into more of a mood than uh, he probably ended up in. Oh, uh, absolutely, well. yeah. Uh, you, yeah, he'd basically, he would, I think he would have, you're absolutely right. He'd have, <laughs> he'd have talked himself out of this game, wouldn't he? He would have talked himself out of it. He would have tilted. Yeah. I want to yeah. know how close Jimmy was to tilting, because I reckon Jimmy might have been pretty close. Oh, my God. Look at this. He's, he's now. BMing now. <laughs> no, there's only one there's... Gdanik physically cannot score now, so the game is over. Um technically not true but he can't get the ball answered. yeah no get no get any physically cannot score so yeah the game is over. hello jim hey jim okay now what a crazy <laughs> game there eh? two hour beast of a game how you feeling not bad thank you thank you very much for commentating no <laughs> problem mate this has been yeah. one of the best games i've seen in a while it's it's had everything hasn't it yeah. Um, it swung both ways. Yep. At the end of the first half, you looked like you was in all kinds of trouble against the full strength Wood Elf team. Um, and then Nuffle said, Hold my beer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you, Shawnee and Orientus and Lean Gary and Ibro Augustus and Max Schreiber. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was weird, wasn't it? Obviously, I got some... Uh, I, I mean, I didn't really have good luck as much as he had a horrific luck, didn't he? With <laughs> yeah, the yeah. chaos and everything. Um, oh, yeah, it wasn't... You know, you haven't been breaking armour for fun. In fact, your armour rolls have been atrocious the whole game. Um, you know, it's almost like you've wrapped your fists up in cotton wool or something. It's been <laughs> ridiculous. But the fact that, you know, you got blitzed on in, in turn nine, um, it looked horrible. Yeah, it looked horrible. <laughs> Pretty yeah. much from the moment from the moment you used your wizard till the end of this game, everything kind of ended up going your way at that point. Um, yeah. But I can't imagine it felt very good having used your wizard and then playing the rest of that half against Gdanik's wizard yeah. until the moment you rolled the one on his. I mean, it only saved me one and nine as well, didn't it? It wasn't like it wasn't that good. The wizard, I, I thought yeah, we about not wizarding. Yeah, we were talking about that, and I was like, you kind of, yeah, the odds, the odds, didn't, you know, didn't increase your odds all that much, but, uh, and, I mean, why, you know, the game is over. If, 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 if he gets the ball and scores there, the game is just 100% over. Yeah. So, if ever you're going to use a wizard, you might as well ensure what you need, although as Gdanik learned, it doesn't ensure anything. Yeah, it was, it was like he was on his best player as well, wasn't it? The fucking absolute pain in the asshole war dancer. So I could have broken his armor and I could have, yeah. you know. Um, so, Berners just put what you think about not wizarding following the blitz. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I was I was shocked that he didn't wizard out of following it was the easy, blitz. It's easy in hindsight, isn't it? It's easy in hindsight. But I think wizarding your sure hands there was the play. Yeah, you know, I think it was. Your ball recovery horrible. I think it was one of those situations where if it was in if I was in like CCL, <laughs> I would have thought I was going to get a better chance. Do you know what I mean? I would have held on to the wizard. But yeah. I think if I was if if the roles were reversed, neither the Woodies and Gadernik had the chaos. I think I would have wizarded. Um, I think my my take on it at the time was just that, and I'd love to hear what Gadernik was thinking on it. But like, if he wizards the sure hands and doesn't break armor. 
he, you know, Gdana, you, you've got a wizard right back on his war dancer at that point, and then you can consolidate on the ball, and then, and then it's almost assuredly overtime. So it was, you know, I kind of get it personally, but like it did yeah. take a lot of restraint, you know, yeah, a lot oh, of yeah. restraint. It's, it's not, it's not like he was definitely wrong or anything. I just think I would have gone for it to. Uh... It was one of those situations where you've got a pretty good shot without the wizard. So you're obviously tempted to, to hold on to it, basically, isn't it? It's, it's one of those kind of things. And, and generally, if I get them against somebody I think I'm better than, I'll, I'll hang on to my wizard. But if I, if I think it's like a bad matchup, and it's not even that bad a matchup for him. Like, the tents were a pain in the ass for him. I've got quite a lot of tackle, so it was like, it could have definitely got tricky for him. Although he had the players at the time, it could, it could have gone south for him. So I think mm. I think I would have done. I would have... I would have. Hello, good day, Nick. Um, we're just talking about your wizard. You're wizarding, uh, not wizard, on the blitz turn. Um, well, the turn after the blitz. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I feel like everyone kind of, everyone with a lot of experience in this game at this point, it just kind of beats into their brain that the end of turn wizard is almost always the wrong decision. So I can kind of, you know, again, I could talk myself out of wizarding there a lot easier than I could talk myself into it. But it probably, as I mean, as every as uh, as all the cards fell, that probably was the best shot um, that he was going to get. That yeah, I, I think in hindsight you can you know you can yeah. say that, can't you? At the time, let, let's let's be clear. I think Gadenik was a, what a two plus away from recovering the ball because Jim had to make a tight cage um, towards the end of the second half. He had no choice. Um, you know, on a two plus, that ball goes into two tackle zones. Agi five does its thing. So, you know, um, personally, yeah, I would have probably fired the wizard off the blitz. But let, let's let's make it clear. Kadenik played a really solid game of blood bowl there. I think both coaches played really solid, yeah. and Nuffle did what Nuffle does in this game. Yeah, you know? yeah. I, mean, I think I think that... I think definitely the dice took it away from Kadenik for, for sure. He didn't do anything wrong, did he? Yeah, he just. Uh... He just got screwed Go by the dice. <laughs> I mean, spoiling a shot uh, at a one, a realistic shot at a one turn, and he still had one. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, you know, it took it took uh, over four KO rolls to basically make it come down to a one, a one dice foul when he needed to push. On <laughs> yeah. So well, I, I actually it. blame I blame Good Day Nick for that entirely. Right? You shouldn't be so fucking good at rolling one D pals. <laughs> Okay, so that basically fell on his sword there, didn't he? Oh, look, look how good I am at rolling 1D pals. The first half, I think he had one turn where he rolled three 1D pals on you without a re-roll. Yeah, I um, think his 1Ds, I think his 1Ds were better than my 3Ds, it felt like. <laughs> <laughs> they were. Yeah, the 1Ds in the first half had, had calcium on the ledge for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I must admit, I was, yeah, I was dishing out a lot of wood elf love i think i hardly swore during that commentary stream actually which is a result uh, so uh oh, well done. Wow. wow look at my gfis 18 successes and one fish almost shawnee levels of gfis there yeah they, that was uh i mean it was a game and but, I mean, it was like a game and a half yeah. to be fair but that's that's a lot of gfis i guess some of them did weren't that important and were like at the end of the turn but obviously they didn't fail and they obviously you get the benefit from them not failing don't you Dodges were good. Most of those were in one turn from that fucking Chaos Warrior doing ridiculous 4-4-4 yeah. four, four, four dodges or whatever the fuck it was. So, like, I didn't were expect to make close? a lot I've got that. a question for you, Jim. Were you ever close to tilting, um, especially no. following the Blitz? Because, I, you know, we've all been there, haven't we, where the first half you, you could have rightly thought that, hang on, this game's kicking me in the balls a little bit here with the lack of attrition and what else doing what they do. Um, and then that Blitz... You know, um, we've all been there, and we think, "Oh, fuck this game." You yeah, know, no, but I mean, honestly, I, I, I don't, I don't, I'm very rarely tilt, especially when I'm practicing, like practicing, concentrating. Like it's different streaming because streaming, I'd be like, "Oh, fucking hell!" Do you know what I mean? What a load of shit! And then because you kind of like overact a bit, don't you? It, um, yeah, it's a bit different than if you were just playing it and concentrating, where you just think, "Fuck's sake, that shit." And Skuro <laughs> said exactly that. <laughs> yeah, like thinking fuck's sake is different to like having a public meltdown. So may <laughs> maybe that would affect my mentality more if I'd been streaming it, which is why I don't like to just not, uh, why I like to not stream and just concentrate. Yeah. And I mean, it's got to be hard, you know. When you have to respond to things in real time, it doesn't, you don't have a chance to like, I mean, 
when you're playing it all, you don't really have a chance to stop and look at the bigger picture like you do when you're just commentating and watching a game. So, like, you know, it's easy to be like, oh, my God, get Anik through three 1Ds and knocked down three guys and removed one of them in the first half. This is a fucking dicing. And then you miss the 0 for 8 KOs and the one on the wizard and everything else. Yeah. Know? When you're playing it, like, that's just how it goes. Oh god, yeah, yeah. Like, a help. Uh, that was a help. You know, Kadir Nick's dice were horrific with the eight fail KOs and the fail wizard and everything. Sure, do you know what I mean? Like it's, uh, I don't think I don't think either of us did anything wrong really. Like obviously we oh. could have done things differently. I could have not wizarded when I did. He could have wizarded at various points. Um, but I, don't I think, think if either of you could have brought a wizard, it brought that wizard into overtime. Yeah, that would have changed things. But I mean, you getting getting the blitz. It's funny that Gedanix blitz. Everyone just threw up their arms at that point. It's like, well, this is over. <laughs> you know? And it didn't turn out to be that bad. I mean, it cost you the wizard, but it kind of worked out. But the blitz you got in overtime was just devastating to Gedanik because he lost he, uh, he lost his move nine catcher for the or his edge five move nine catcher for the entire overtime because of yeah, that. it was incredible, wasn't it? Getting the bribe as well, so I could keep him down with the with the dirty player as well. Oh, you froze him out so well. Um, can I just say that your positional play, everything other than the um, defensive setup, uh, or sorry, the offensive setup when you got blitzed, and I understand why you had to be aggressive. You know, um, you, you gave yourself a lot to do, but your scramble um, to protect the ball and, and your positioning other than that was, well, as good as I've seen in this game. It was brilliant. Thank you, Calcium. You're welcome, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe I should have. Um, I was setting up to try to get tense on his, uh, on his like good players that he'd expose and stuff, and hit his good players that he was exposed on defense. So like, I was getting a little bit greedy with the setup, and maybe I should have just concentrated on protecting against a blitz, really, because um, I, I did set up a bit, a bit crap. <laughs> yeah, well, I said, well, uh, Jim's kind of set up against it, and then we're like, wait, the amount of edge five. On the yeah, I guess I couldn't have set up much against it, even if even if I had set up against it. You had five keepers on the field. You're not really stopping them getting into your half. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I, I, I guess I could have had more stuff back though, like because at least have a player back, like a tackle tense guy back with the ball, so that if. You know the blitz happened. At least I would have something. You know, because he if he tagged the ball, if he tagged the show hands guy and stuff, it would have been horrible. Um, yeah. Whereas if I had no a strength for tense back, it would have been really nice. Neither, neither, neither coach had a had a bench ranger. Yeah. Anyway, thanks very much, everybody, and and very well played the Gadenik. Um, thank you so much, Skuro and, and Calcium commentating. Absolutely fantastic, and. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.